it's time for another Saturday night episode of Thrifty Business with Jay and A's Thrift Halls. I'm your one host, Vegas Jay. And I'm your other host, Philly Nay. Oh, I don't have my mic ready. <laughs> oh, no. And we're uh, doing a fun Saturday night show this time. Yeah, so as a heads up, because I'm going to be telling you guys about a lot of webinars and, and classes I got coming up this week, my uh, main computer, uh, Apple, finally oh. deemed it to be a lemon. Less than a year old, in the shop a few times. So what they did was they took my old one away and they gave me all my money back. So yay on you, Apple, for uh, standing behind your products. So I'm ordering a new one, but right now I'm working off my laptop, my wife's little Chromebook, and uh, one extra monitor. So it's going to be a little bit of a nutty week. So if it doesn't go as smooth this week as normal, now you know why, okay? So just keep that in mind, please, everyone. All right. Good Good Saturday evening to everybody. We did this uh, not too long ago, and Nay and I had great results because he, a lot of you were staying home, just like Nay and I, and uh, it was a fun Saturday night haul. Yeah, so should be good. Uh, so I have uh, I have a little rum. Uh, I know, shocker. <laughs> and I have some red wine. So. Cheers. Cheers. What's everybody drinking in the chat? Let me uh, let me see what you guys are drinking. All right, there we go. Sorry, I'm a little out of sorts. I also missed uh, misplaced time today, and I was in the shower just 15 minutes ago. So yeah, he's like, <laughs> "Oh, I think I'm gonna be a little late. I lost track of time." <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, All right, Chad. I don't see anyone drinking. Come on now, someone's gotta be having cocktails with water. Mm -hmm. Oh my, my mom's having a mango drink. margarita. And I've had a sick day all day, but I'm feeling better tonight, so that's a good thing. Look at all these cherry Seven Up Diet Cokes. Come on now. Ah, there we go. But wait, wine, there's not we get some wine. Bloody Mary. Hmm. There's not one person joining me in rum tonight? What? Oh, sorry, Jason. I oh, should have awesome. had my crack in. 11.30 a.m. That's the perfect time to start drinking. <coughs> I should have had my crack in, huh? Speaking of, speaking of day drinking, if you're in my secret beach, I've just secured the location for our party, and it's going to be all about day drinking. So start prepping now. All right, let's get right into the hall. I was in Atlanta for a week. I was teaching some classes, doing some thrifting with some friends, bopping around the tiki mm -hmm. bars. And so this is a, a combination of Atlanta, and I hit Savers right before I left, and I did a little Friday night thrifting last night. And so uh, uh, those three things uh, put together. So a few of these, these couple first things you all saw in my teases. Y'all, you, you, you you're adapting the Atlanta dialect. <laughs> But I did want to show again, just in case you didn't watch uh, the videos I make on the 8 app or if you watch our other show, um, this is a Ashley Stewart bra. It's a real big one. It's a 44F, but it is also padded, and it's got the padding in the bottom, so it really lifts the boobs up to give you a cleavage. And it's called the Frog Closure. It's a double back closure. Now, the people have been selling this bra way too cheap. Now, it's, it's not a super expensive bra, but people are selling it for like eight dollars. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to sell this for at least twenty five bucks. All right. So the, the proper term to pushing the boobs up to show the cleavage is a push up bra. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm a dude. But I'm going to show you. You can take a product that other people are selling too low because that's one of the keys that we like to teach you is believe in your products and and go for the money that you deserve. Selling this bra for eight dollars is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Oh yeah, people underprice all the time, and I see that. And and yeah. then people ask me for advice, and they're like, "Oh, I see all these comps. Look, price yours higher. You don't have to price that low. You have good pictures and a good listing. You can sell it for more." And if you could feel this bra, you would see how like it's it's quality. All right, so mm -hmm. that's one thing I want to share that you might have seen. And the other thing, and this I paid a good price for, but I know the return is there, so I don't mind paying more. I got these at Buffalo Exchange, my new favorite store. Mm. Yeah, Jason <laughs> and I have a little inside uh, joke about yeah, that. Yeah, uh, we'll dig it, Nate. If you are not familiar with loudmouth brand pants, and you know the uh, golfer, uh, John Daly, he wore these pants. So I bought two pair. This is the comic strip print. Now, the cool thing about uh, loudmouth pants is they retire their prints. So once their print is retired, if you really want these pants, the only place to buy them is a secondary market like eBay. So these are the comic print. And these are polka dots, but of course, I'm going to sell it as Christmas pants. Those are awesome. Yeah. So I look, I'll, I'll tell you what I paid. I paid 28 bucks a piece. But I'm going to get like 50 to $70. So, oh, yeah. I would have paid that, definitely. Yeah. Plus, I use a third-party lister that saves all my listings. I've sold loudmouth pants before. So my, lift, my listing's already half done. All the branding's there. I just got to change the pictures, the sizes, and the style, and I'm already halfway done. So, hmm. 
I mm. guess I'll have to check out my Buffalo exchange to see if you could, all of the ones that you missed. Get out of here. Ozzy Thrifter said I twisted her arm. She is now drinking rum. Oh, love you. Oh, oh good. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and obviously, those kind of pants stick out easy. Oh, yeah. They're, they're crazy. I, I love them. them. And I, I ran. I'm like, whoa, I got to pick these up. Yep. That, anything like that will sound great. <clears throat> all right. Always keep an eye out for stuff that fits you because you never know when you're finding some good things. Now, I'm in the process of losing weight, so the stuff I'm about to show you fits me now. But what the cool thing is, when you're really gung-ho at losing weight, you're going to go down sizes. And so you don't want to spend a lot of money on the middle sizes. So thrift your middle sizes, thrift well, and then when you get out of those to the next size, then you just sell them. Exactly. So That's fantastic advice. It's free clothes. So these are pretty sweet Carhartt uh, uh, carpenter pants. They're in excellent condition. They're exactly my size right now. And they were a whopping uh, $5.00. And I can sell them for like 25, 30 bucks when I am done with them. Just don't spill Diet Coke on them. And if you've been, if you ever listened to me at all, you know, I'm, I always tell you to hunt for Merite and Francois Jabot jeans. Mm -hmm. Well, I found this t-shirt. Merite cool. and Francois Jabot t-shirt that uh, also sells pretty well. So when I'm done wearing this, uh, it'll go to the eBay pile. That's an awesome shirt. And then last but not least, and I don't know if this brand's anything. Let me see. I don't even know what the brand is. Nope. Basic code. But... These shorts are the bomb diggity. Can I just say the bomb diggity, Nadine? Check this out. Oh, yeah. That's a great but, plaid. But they're really, really long. <laughs> they're almost like a, um, a, a, a chambray. I think it's called a chambray plaid. Cancer brain is kicking in. But, yeah, there's a particular name for that plaid. Yes. Yes, Resale Junkie. You did find that shirt. Thank you very much. I'm going to be wearing it. Okay. This next thing, I'm going to give you a demonstration. And the reason I'm giving you a demonstration is not not to make fun, and if I see anyone in the comments saying anything derogatory, you'll go. But this is a brand of sports coat that the brand is immaterial. I can't even find the brand anywhere online. But when you find a very uh, obscure sizing, you definitely want to pick it up. And, and right now, two button is hot. This is a three button double breasted, I think. So that's not hot. But again, when you see the size, you're going to be like, that's why Jay bought it. So it is a nice wool coat. Okay. For starters, it's a short person. Okay. But I am 6'5", around 269 right now. I can take the one side and go past my hip and take the other side and go past my hip. So this jacket has to be in the uh, 66 range, maybe. Maybe 70. Yeah. yeah. And so this is that time when, when brand mat matters not. The, and it was made specifically for a person. And this brand is called Fitwell with one L. I couldn't even find it. But when you find something of this size, so it was a bigger, shorter man, and someone's going to need this jacket. I'll measure it out exactly, and someone's going to need it. But this is where skip brand. Brand don't matter. And now yeah. not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That didn't look comfortable, but yeah, that's awesome because somebody will need that that particular size, and they're going to have a hard time finding that fit. So. Yep. Uh -huh. And there is a specific way to measure a sports coats. So we'll cover that someday. All right, Nay. Uh -huh. This is something specifically I bought with you in mind. All right. Okay. Okay. This is Nay rubbing rubbing off on me. I'm uh, glad that that's happening. This is a homemade piece with no brand. Again, here we are. Brand's not going to matter, but it is a vintage dress. Wow, that is awesome. You like that? Oh, yeah. That's that's I mean, just, and they did a real nice job. It's lined too. That is cool. Is it it looks like a small or an extra small? It looks tiny. Oh wait, I did find a tag I've never seen, but it, oh. all it is is a little tiny tag that says 44 and nothing else. Hmm. There's no brands anywhere. Okay. But pretty cool, huh? Awesome. Wow. Yeah, that is a nice dress. So that was a good purchase then? That was a great purchase. I love it. All right, cool. Let me show two more things and I'll hand it off to you for a little bit. This is my first get the hell out of here thing. Like, what is that? Okay, ready? I think he's homemade. He's a cute little monkey, okay? But whoever made him really put no thought into what his bottom legs were going to do. Whoa! Why is his leg spread so wide? Oh, my. <laughs> you want to see my junk? Hello. Hello. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, Jason. So for $1.99, <laughs> I had to buy that because this is hilarious. Yeah, that's pretty funny. You should, uh, I don't know if he'll resell very well, but. Hey, look, Ma, it's got the Hmong. That's just for my mom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, and for my dad. 
Okay. All right. Then the last last thing I want to show before I hand it back to Nay is um, yoga this, pose. Yeah, that could be. This purse is no brand, okay? And but it's cute. It's vinyl. Nothing exciting. Uh, I'm my mom like that. But what was attached to it? Uh, if you, do you know the brand Fluff? No, I do not. So Fluff makes these really cute Hawaiian girl like purses and luggage tags. So this this no name purse had this nice uh, unused fluff luggage tag and still had the new with tags on it. So the purse was two ninety nine. So I'm gonna sell the purse and the luggage tag separately, but I might keep the luggage tag. But fluff it's not a huge seller, but they have these really cute uh, images of uh, wahinis, which are hula girls. So you that's find anything fluff, it's usually a good thing to flip. Yeah, that's a cute luggage tag. I could totally see that you rocking that on your pink suitcase. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably keeping it, but but. I just bought it because I like, I mean, the purse is fun. It's just not, you know, it's not a name or expensive, but it's a fun purse. Probably flip it for like 15 or $20. Yeah, exactly. Not expensive. All right. What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Okay. So I talk about, um, I talk about my, my, for target lines all the time. And oh, I hang, have, hang on a sec. You got to yes. pause. What? Our, fe our fellow lifeguard, Christine, wanted to see the fluff uh, logo one more time real quick. Oh, okay. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Okay, back in 18. Okay, so I talk about my target lines all the time, the, my four target. Well, this is a Missoni for target travel nice. toiletry bag, and it flips out. And here's the moral of this story. I paid <laughs> $2.99 for this. This thing was disgusting. It had cosmetic junk, lipstick stuff, gunk in it. Um, the outside had, I think, deodorant smeared all over it. So they priced it really low. I don't even know if they saw the Missoni tag, they, and they just stuck it out there. Well, this thing will probably sell for $34.99, and it was really easy cleanup. All it took was some a little bit of elbow grease and some Windex and then some Dawn uh, dish detergent and a light um, sponge on the outside. All the deodorant, all the gunk is gone, and I have a nice, perfectly clean, almost new shape Missoni for Target bag that will sell for about $35. Mm, so. deodorant. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, the moral of the story is don't be afraid to clean stuff up because, um, you know, if, if it's easy to clean and you know, a lot of that stuff is price lower because they just see it dirty. Um, you can really do well with it. This was another example. This is a Betsy Johnson little bag. It was with the cosmetic bags. It's new with tags, but um, it had a lot of like gunk and smudges on it. And this type of, this is vinyl. So this just wipes away with a magic eraser. It was so easy to clean and it's still new with tags. The inside was never used. I just assumed that it just got all gunked up from being wherever it was stored. Um, so I have this cute little Betsy Johnson cosmetic bag that I'll probably sell for about $25. So I paid $1.99 for that. And yeah, we, uh, we had a Target bag uh, with, a, with a dog on it, like that same kind of vinyl. And my uh, assistant said, how do I clean this? I'm like, oh, magic eraser. And she came back two seconds later. She's like, oh, that was easy. It's so easy. It's so, so easy. easy. So this, uh, Jason teased this in the, um, in, in the, text of the show and this is something that should have been a jason score but it, it's going to be a nay score because jason left it in my car by accident and i was going to ship it to him and he's like no 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 just sell it so um this is uh, this is a vintage it's etc it's it's this kind of and it it is it's a uh, is it a fire king or a fire king or federal let me see uh yeah it's fire king I think okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's like a $20 mug, but it, yeah, it, yeah. But it, it's, even though I yeah. thrifted a lot, I remember what I bought and I'm like, Hey, where, where's my et cetera mug? And mm -hmm. then I'm like, I remember setting it in the cup holder in the back of your car. So it wouldn't, and that's where I found it. Cause I was like, I didn't find anything in my car. And then I, I dug a little more and it was in a home Depot bag too, in the cup holder. I think you had stuck that bag around it. Can you so use I will magic eraser on patent leather. That's a good question. Um, on patent leather, um, you can use, um, um, I, I just did this in the, um, 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 is it vinegar? I forget. Um, not magic eraser. No. Okay. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Don't um, use magic eraser. Yeah. I, anyway, I have, I know what it is. And again, cancer brain is forgetting. So, no, so um, Brid Bridget said she does use them on patent. Really? I don't, I don't. Yeah. I've used vinegar and there's something that, that takes it right off and I can't remember what it is that I use. Um, okay. So I'll do a couple more. 
as as much as Jason loves kids clothes. Here we go. Cute little Jimbery. And this was sent to me by one of our viewers sent me a box of um of, of and it's a, it's a mystery viewer. So whoever you are, thank you because I, I don't know who sent it to me. Yeah, so um I got a, a wonderful box of items that I'm listing and this little Jimbery um outfit was in there. And new with tags Jimbery can do very well. I mean, this will probably get about $10 or so. So and then um, here's one that's out of my comfort zone. Jason helped me with this. I actually did list this one already, but it is a size three or four, three extra large. It's got air. It's got military airplanes on it, vintage airplanes. But I oddly, it is a Hawaiian shirt. It's called. I'm not, I'm going to butcher this. Kalehio. It's pretty good. Yeah, okay. they, they're kind of famous for non-Hawaiian Hawaiian shirts. So they've done they've done a lot of military plane shirts and uh, uh, submarines, and, and they do some regular Hawaiian shirts too. But that is always a good uh, a brand, you know, guys who like Hawaiian shirts because uh, this could be the same cut as a regular Hawaiian shirt, but they're also into military mm -hmm. type stuff. Uh, the, that's who usually buys them and big size, you know, three extra. Nice big yeah, size. it's a three extra large. And what I like about it is it's a cotton rayon blend, which is a nicer fabric. It's softer. So that's a higher quality fabric too. And I already did list it. You said, you said to put it up for thirty nine ninety nine with best offer. So that's what I did. Ooh. I, I, so, um, all right. You want to take it back? Sure. Okay. I mean, some, some things like if you've been watching this for a while, some things are going to be like, yeah, we've heard it a hundred times, but, you might be watching for the first time. So every time I find good stuff and the same stuff that we always talk about, I want to share with you guys because, you know, they're easy flips, easy, easy flips. So uh, Nick and Nora, if you're not aware, and I'm hoping of the 187 you watching, and hey, thanks everybody for tuning in. I hope there's someone who's not aware of Nick and Nora, so you're going to be aware of them right now. There's the brand. And this is the Nick and Nora Sock Monkey Snow Globe uh, set, and I got both the top and bottom. And I just checked today, and right now, and you know, it ain't pant, ain't pajama weather right now. It was 100 degrees in Vegas yesterday, so pajama weather is out at least for the United States. But uh, right now, this one is selling consistently for 25 bucks, and I picked it up for 3.99. Now, oh, yeah. un unfortunately, if you don't find the bottoms or the tops, you can still sell if you only find half. And one mm -hmm. time, one time, I found the tops at one store and the bottoms at another store. So that's awesome. Deal. But this is another, just the just top, but this is a great Santa Claus print. And a little doggy, too. So that, that's going to be a fun print. Now, the top by itself will probably only get me about 15, 18 bucks. But I've done so many Nick and Nora's, like that Snow Globe one, I've mm -hmm. done it before. So I've already got the listing ready to go. Again, anytime you can cut out steps, save three seconds here, 10 seconds there, at the end of the oh, year. Yeah. That's hours and hours you have sold. Oh, yeah, they sell great. I, I sold a, I picked up a set for $2. It was an owl print set. I think I showed it as a score not too long ago. And it was really, it had a lot of wash wear and fading on it. And I disclosed that, and I still got $25 for the set. You know, it was really right. beat. But, now, yeah, they, course, people love their Nick and Nora. Of course, nay, I should have had this up before Thursday, since Thursday was Star Wars Day. But, oh, well. Now, Look, when you, when you buy things that are hugely made, uh, uh, licensed everywhere, Star Wars is a great example, you got to kind of be a little picky uh, if you're not finding vintage stuff. If you're finding modern stuff, you got to be a little picky because there's so much. I think this is a good shirt. It's got a different look than the norm, and uh, it's a 2X, so it's a good size. It is a felt Chewbacca ringer tee. That's cool. Yeah. So for two ninety nine, I thought, ah, good size, cool shirt, different than the norm. It's not just black. You know, someone would like that. Definitely got a 70s feel to it, you know? Pretty cool. All right. So I've talked about this uh, this designer before, and this designer does something with a, a brand of uh, bags that you also should keep your eyes out for. So the brand of bags is Le Sport Sack, and the designer is Tokidoki. So these are this is Tokidoki for Le Sport Sack, so I'll show you that. Yeah. Yeah, that's and, uh, this is uh, the like emo punk pirate theme is what's going on here, and this is a huge duffel. So I'll give you, an, I'll show you. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's nice. This is a huge duffel, and it's got, and it's got, like uh, a whole like little sports sack bag on the outside too. See? Yeah. <sighs> That's so cool. th this duffel will be in the fifty to seventy dollar range, uh, and Easy, they, yeah. 
the they all have style names and they make uh, so many different things. So when you sell this, you have to know exactly what style the sports hat calls this and what the print is called by Toki Doki. And those are easily found with just a little bit of research. But the only way to sell it properly is to get both of those in your title. So there's two generations of the sports sacks, you know, that there's, they were really big. They, they really were popular in the 80s and then they made a comeback. So the vintage ones from the 80s and the early 90s actually are, um, are sought out as well. So I'll also look for those. All right, I'm going to show you a little bit of media right now, then I'll hand it back to Nadine. Okay, I bought a lot of CDs in Atlanta, but I'm going to profile a few of them. They're kind of somewhat, yes, they're, they're bolos, and these are things you can find. But just to show you, if you're not aware, there's good money to be made in CDs in 2017. And I don't even know what this is. The music of the two gayest men in America. And it's a two-CD set and routinely sells for 20 bucks. The two oldest gay men, it says. Oh, but I say... <laughs> The two gayest men, it's oh, the two the oldest two gay, gay men. men in America. So it was $3, but the nice thing to show me what it was worth originally, it had the original $20 st sticker on the back, so that helped. Uh, and then to show you, um, this is Rogers and Hart Revisited Volume 2 by Ben Bagley, and uh, this is a $40 CD. Now, you will not find this every day, but that's the kind of things, anything kind of Broadway-ish will attract my eye, especially if it isn't common. The soundtrack to Cats has been sold 10 million times. You can ignore that. But Otter stuff catches my eye. Now, this is kind of cool. This was a movie by Guy Ritchie that I've never seen. I heard stunk. But uh, the commercial was cool. But this was a promo-only uh, version of the soundtrack. So this is worth 20 bucks. And then from the same company, this is a promo, too. I looked all day to give you guys a worth of this uh, CD. Uh, all day. I, I looked for half an hour. I looked on every website that prices and and catalogs sold CDs. I cannot find this anywhere. There is no listing for this soundtrack on Amazon. It's only digital. So this tells me this was only available as a promo. It's in a movie starring Michael Caine. I've never heard of called Harry Brown. But this might be the $100 CD I've been looking for for this week. I don't know because I can't find it anywhere. So, and it's by a bunch of DJs. Pete Tong, Paul Rogers, Ruth Barrett, and Martin Phipps. So I'm going to- It's new too, right? Sealed? No, it's not sealed. Oh, okay. But I don't think this was ever released. So the chances you find this are pretty much zero to slim. But if you're in a record store and you're looking through the soundtrack section and you see something, you're like, I don't know what that movie is. Pull that out. That's when you find the gems. Now, nay, that won't work for you because you don't know most movies. True, true. Little dig there. Conan the Barbarian <laughs> soundtrack. I paid three bucks. It sells for 15. It's always a good one to pick up. And then this uh, soundtrack to a Stanley Kubrick film, Barry Lydon. This sells for $20 every day of the week. Ooh, making a mess. And then these used to sell for a ton all the time. They're called Television's Greatest Hits. As you can see, it's a lenticular case. So that means it changes. Ah, the that's cool. Uh, they don't sell for as well as they used to, but this is number four. Uh, yeah, number four. I paid five bucks, and number four does sell quite well for 20 bucks all the time. Oh, is that like that the the theme one with the Golden Girls that you gave me? Yeah, so there's 65. Yeah, yeah songs. that's cool. All right, so that's my CDs. Now, as excited I was to not find that, that soundtrack CD, I can't find this video anywhere. So something weird video always reproduced these B and C level movies that are just bizarre and weird. I cannot find this high school big shot video anywhere. So here's my note to tell you guys. I just wrote rare. I don't even know what the price it has. I can't find it anywhere. So again, I'm just leafing through weird stuff. And I'm like, I don't know what that is. And this was uh, six bucks. So I'm going to probably put $100 on and see what happens. All right, Nay, do you know what the term soft core porn means? Yeah, it's like, um, it's like Cinemax. Yeah. Yeah. So it's porn, but you don't ever see any. Right, porn. it's like, yeah. It, it's a lot of like your, your your brain's filling in the missing parts. You see them having sex, but you really don't see them having sex. Yeah, we, we I think everybody knows. Well, I tell you <laughs> that because I picked up a softcore porn at Savers. Okay. <laughs> but here's how low rent it is. You know, want you want to see who the star of it is? The star of it is the winner of Survivor Thailand. <laughs> Not even his name. <laughs> they don't even put the name. <laughs> that's, that's when you know it's low rent. This is the Virgins of Sherwood Forest. <laughs> wow. All right. And then the last thing of media I want to share is books. I do love me some books. Um, 
Cirque du Soleil, there are uh, eight or nine of them here in Vegas. They've had shows that have been retired here in Vegas. They have touring shows around the world. And all these books use the, the programs from the event sell for about 15 bucks. And being in Vegas, I pick them up all the time for 2 and $3. But where you can make more money is you start putting a couple together. So I've, I've got right now like nine or 10 uh, Cirque books. So I might do a couple lots and then sell them for a little bit more. And then this, um, this is a graphic novel. I don't know the, art, the, uh, the artist, the author, or the book itself, but I can't find this version of it. So again, I'm very excited. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's like a million dollar uh, graphic novel, but uh, it is probably gonna be like, you know, 30 bucks or so. Uh, oh, somebody wants me to show something again. What, the, uh, the Virgins of Sherwood Forest? Is that what you want to see again? Or Cirque? Uh. <laughs> so what what the, the tip is i'm there's in most major thrift stores there's a book section called like arts like music entertainment if you look at nothing else look at that section that's where i pulled uh, this from that's where i pulled the cirque stuff from that's where i pulled the record tab and piano part books from so um you know if nothing else look at that section and start scanning all right now you're up Okay, so I'm going to start off with some CDs. I have a few here. Um, oh, look at that. We didn't even plan this either. Though. I know. So I am, as you know, I'm, I'm getting more comfortable with CDs, actually. I still have, I'm still getting some duds, but I'm getting some really good ones, too. Like, like I'm showing Jay, and he's like, oh, that's oh, a $50 hey, hey, pause, CD. Pause, 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 yeah. pause, pause, pause. We always forget to say this, Nay. Oh, Everything yes. you see, if you like something, it's going to be for sale on eBay. We'd rather just sell it to you now. So if you're dying for the Virgins of Sherwood Forest, I will sell it to you right now. Nadine will sell you the CD she's about to show you. So if you like something, and don't put it in the chat because we'll miss it and it disappears after the fact. Hit us up on Facebook, go to our page, go to our personal wall, go to the, the thrifting board. Use anything you like. We'll always cut you a good deal, right? Absolutely. We'll, get, we'll cut you a good deal and uh, we'll send it right out to you. Yep. yep. So everything is negotiable. Um, so I have, I don't know who this, this dude is, but it's signed by him. So that's why I got it. <laughs> so that's the only reason it's Billy Dean. Do you know who Billy Dean is? Yeah, he's a country singer and I, okay. would, I would have never bought that CD unsigned, but I absolutely would have bought it signed. Okay. So that was okay. So probably maybe like 20 bucks or so. At, at people yeah, that, yeah. That, that's what and the CD is in, yeah, the CD is in good shape. I have to change out the case, but it's, and, but it does say to Anna. Does that matter? And it then does it has this, a little bit, but people will still pay for autographs and look, and it's got a nice I'm signature. The same old argument you always give us. I am not paying to make sure that's a real Billy Dean CD. Ain't no one faking Billy Dean's autograph. Okay. Um, and I've got this guy from the Levi Weavers. Uh, I don't know who he is or who their band is, but this one was like 50 cents. So I took a chance on that. And that's Oh, yeah. I would buy anything signed, yes. you know, especially for so, cheap. Heck yeah. Yeah. So this one, um, I think you commented on. It's a, it's a TV Christmas dinner. That's a cool CD. Yeah. So I haven't... Um, what do you think this one's going to get, Jason? Because I haven't really... You know, I haven't looked it up lately, but yeah. that's one of those that I think... I, okay, let's put it this way. If you know anything about me, you know I hunt for Christmas CDs. I haven't seen that one in like three Christmases. Wow. Okay. So now, should, now I, I guess the, I should just the crappy yeah. label, Laser Light. It's a it, Laser Light's a shit label. But okay. there's a few Laser Light releases that are worth money, and they're all Christmas. Okay. So this would be one of them. It's got like the Brady Bunch and uh, Edith and Archie's Spicy Gravy, Jim Neighbors Down Home Dressing. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So. Somebody in the chat said they sold a Christmas CD today. I sold a Christmas CD yesterday. See. So I looked this one up, I scanned it, and I paid 99 cents for it. It's a Spanish CD, I don't know what the heck it is, but it seems to be going for like 15 to $20. And it's got a creepy clown on it. Yeah, it does actually. So, um, and it was new too. And then I found these, do you know about these Coca Media? Um, Cause these look like they were, they look like they were doing pretty well. I got two of them, one is Asia, and the other one is a tribute to jazz. And they, there weren't a lot of them listed, but they look like they were doing really well on Amazon and pretty good on eBay. So yeah, I don't know though. So, you know, okay. I'm really excited to see if, if you find something new that I should keep my eyes off for, please. Yeah. I found two of the Coca medias. There was there, they just were like together there. So somebody must've donated them um, together. And then this is Philip Aber Christmas. Um, I'm not quite sure what this one is, but it looked intriguing and it was 50 cents. So um, uh, I don't understand the sticker. Overhead play, do not return to DC. 
Yeah, I don't know. And I couldn't scan that. Like this one wouldn't, I couldn't find it because I tried to scan the cover and there's a, there's a, a thing between in the barcode. So I couldn't scan the barcode. So I just took a chance on it for 50 cents and I, it just looked interesting. Take so chance, I will let you guys, chance on me. so I'll let you know what that does. And then I have Susan powders <laughs> uh, from the eighties. Stop the insanity. Um, <clears throat> foundations of wellness. And these are cassettes. Is it sealed? Uh, yeah, it's sealed. Brand new from the 80s. I used to love watching her uh, infomercials. I watch them all the time. Yeah, so I don't know. I think I think I looked Wait, it up and it's like 15-ish. you know her? I know who she is. She was friends with Richard Simmons. They did the, Yeah, she lost yeah, like yeah. over 100 pounds. My yeah. brain hurts who you know and who you don't know. <laughs> yes, I, I knew. knew I knew Susan Powder, but not yeah. Don Rickles. My brain is right. That's correct. Right I knew Susan Powder, but not Don Rickles. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, so I figured um, this was a dollar. So I think it'll sell for about 15 ish. So that's pretty good. And I do have a Richard Simmons um, one somewhere. I couldn't find it. It's, it's back there. And um, I bought that with this. So I don't know if I should lot them together or just sell them separately. I think I'll sell them separately. They'll go for about $15 each. And then um, out of my comfort zone, this is my, this is my shirt from my, our new segment that I use in the art. This is a men's size large Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles t-shirt and it's new with tags. So, you know, probably like 20 to 25 bucks. Right, nice. Jason? Yeah, so not bad. And I also got this and you, I asked you while I was in this room. Ninja Turtles, Teenage So Mutant. I bought a concert shirt also outside my comfort zone. It's Volbeat. Nice. Yeah, and I yeah, and you told me to list this, and it's from their North America 2012 tour. You told me to buy it. If I paid five dollars, and um, I expect to get probably like twenty five, twenty five thirty dollars. Opening band for Metallica this summer, so they'll be out. In oh, so that's so that'll give them some more publicity. That's good. Yep, and that's and one of Stacy's favorite bands. As cool. a little fun added fact. Cool. And then I'll show one more thing, and I'll turn it over to you. Okay. Um, I don't know what this is, so I need some help. Oh, well, hell, we have a mystery coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we have a mystery. So our um, Philly 8 Surf has free bins outside. And I picked this up in the free bins because it looked interesting. It might just be, like, you know, a redonate item. It might be nothing. But I don't know. I don't know what it's for. It's this little thing. It's got – it's it's wooden. It's carved wood. It's got two um, little legs on it. And then it's got all of this like almost hieroglyphic looking, um, looking um, paint, like uh, right. It's like it's giant kind of floral, thing. and no, it's not. It's not like Asian writing or anything. It's like flowers drawn in it, but they look kind of like hieroglyphic flowers. It's really interesting. The giant ashtray. I, I mean, it doesn't have. I don't. I don't know. It doesn't huh. look like it was ever like smoked in or anything. It's wood. I wouldn't think that you'd put. Use a wooden asterisk, well, wouldn't that like yeah. ignite? Well, wooden fire don't really go together unless you're. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. So, and it's carved on the sides. So I just, I'm not sure what it is. Okay, somebody says tortilla holder. I don't know. Uh, that was. Um, well, Margaret, Margaret, I don't know. In Texas, so you know. Yeah, so Margaret, maybe that's true. I don't know, but it's like kind of bumpy inside too. So. I don't know. It was free, so yeah, um, free. If, give a whirl. What the if hell? anybody knows, you know, like I have to do some research. I, I haven't really, but if anybody knows, you know, if, if this is something that people want, then mystery cool. item, yeah. All right, I'm gonna show. Uh, let me start with some glassware. I, I was doing a little Friday night thrifting last night, and I found some cool stuff. I think uh, we we always tell you geek geek tech stuff sells. And this is pretty neat. This is a coffee mug for the IBM Center for Microsoft Technologies with a little sailboat. I don't know why. I can't even find what this place is, but I thought it was cool and it was 70 cents. So I'll give it a whirl. On the same lines, I found this Microsoft Glass with a little emoticon smiley face in the back. So that was pretty cool. This needs a good cleaning. I hope it cleans Turbis Tumblr. Yep. A good uh, brand to buy, and this is a Jimmy Buffett. It's five o'clock somewhere. Giant parrot Turvis tumbler. Wow, that's, that's pretty cool. cool. And that was seventy cents. And uh, I always tell people don't buy dated sports stuff unless it's older. So don't pick up a two thousand and fifteen Super Bowl shirt. 
no one cares at this point. However, and this is pretty good shape. This is this was selling for twenty five dollars. Nineteen eighty six Mets League Championship game uh, mug game. Uh, hmm. Official MLB products and selling for about twenty five bucks normally on eBay. Ah, uh, pretty cool. One of the That's few that. live uh, baseball games I saw was a Mets game. Oh, really? Mm hmm. I saw a live Yankees game and a live Mets game. And yes, I live in Philly and I've never seen a live Phillies game. <laughs> and then they shared a picture of Starbucks mugs to skip, which used to be a hot commodity. So last night at uh, Savers, there was about four and three were about worthless. But this one was selling for 20, 22 bucks all the time. And it was $2. It's this New York one with a Statue of Liberty on it. So. Uh, for two bucks, I'll definitely pick it up and sell it for $22. Now, this is something I bought to keep, and I checked with our prior guest, uh, our guests from the, um, uh, good Lord. <laughs> I'm, having, I'm having a senior moment right now. <laughs> Velveteen Lounge. Holy shit, I couldn't remember. These are chalkware, and I found them in my favorite antique store in Atlanta. Chalk oh, wow. Wow. They're in, okay. they're in really good shape. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Now, I bought them to keep. Uh, they're not tiki, definitely not tiki, but yeah, you I'm always surprised. find weird, kitschy stuff in tiki bars. And, and this, uh, being in such good shape and... Um, uh, they were like, yeah, they would definitely pick them up for 48 bucks. So with, uh, with their, uh, approval <laughs> that it was worth the money, uh, I thought I'll get those. So very kind of weird and quirky. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely tiki, tiki, tiki ish sort of kind of. Yeah. Yeah. You, you'll find a little bit of African, a little bit of Indonesian. Uh, if you walk around my house, you'll notice things that are not tiki, but when you look at them in the setting, they work and we're going to be talking about tiki a little bit towards the end of this mm -hmm. we've got a new webinar coming up uh, uh all about tiki so y'all have learned a lot from me i'm gonna teach you more that's the second time you said y'all it works good atlanta right. in a week and you're already the accent rubbed off that much wow all right, i'm gonna show a couple of cool hats all right now look at this it's got it's got still got the tag mm -hmm. uh it, it is unworn there is no wear to this and the only thing that makes it anything but a normal blue tag is behind my hand and guess what? This company doesn't make clothing. And so this was like a promo item or an internal company item. And I can't find one anywhere. So I think I got a pretty sweet score here. You ready? Mm-hmm. Bam. Oh, Facebook. A Facebook unworn ball cap. And pretty I saw cool. a few other Facebook hats. And based on how few there are, they've never sold anything. So this was so, internally. Yeah, that was like a, co a company promo item. Yeah. Yeah. That's so that's cool. cool. Now. Right next to that hat was this hat, another non-commercially available item, and someone has it for sale, but I think they, well, I don't think, they have so written the title wrong. Explain this to me, can you, my dear? Uh, Berlin, I can't, London, Berlin, Washington, Las Vegas, 2000. Born, five, born, isn't that supposed to be like the born identity? Yes, so this was the most so, recent Born Identity movie, but what this hat is, it's a crew hat. So they filmed it from 2015 to 16 in all these countries. And the person uh, who okay. didn't list it that way, I know exactly what this is. Okay. So I'm going to list it for much higher than him with the proper keywords and get my money. Cool, and it's brand new again. Uh, it, well, okay, kids wear their hats with these on there. The, the, what? The, yes, that is the Why? Thing. Why? Why is that a thing? Don't know, but you're right. It is, but just because it's on here doesn't mean it is. Just well, that's aware. something that I just I did not know. Wow. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Now, you, th this is one of those kind of like thrifty encounter moments. It makes you go really. So I got one more hand to share, and then I'll throw it back to you. But first, but first, a word a word from our sponsors. No, just kidding. Um, I got this racing jacket. Now the brand I don't know anything about. I can't really find much. It's international. And I think the brand of the jacket is made then to give to like the racing teams to put their patches on. Okay. So here's the brand. It is Feroz F. I don't know. Hmm. But this is really heavy duty. So there's a Pirelli tires right here. I know Pirelli tires. Yes. Yep. Um, 
Adventure is monogrammed on the sleeve. Over here is Modal, which I don't even know what that is. And then Off-Road Motor Magazines on the side here. So this jacket, it's heavy duty and nice. It is, I mean, it's a mm, really, That's pretty nice, yeah. Really nice jacket, and I paid nine bucks. The day what I size, it, again? What size is it? Oh, it is. Did you say? Extra, no. Extra large, yeah. Oh, good. Nice. Uh, now, here's where the thrift encounter kind of comes in. I buy that at one Savers. I go to a different Savers, and I find this Pirelli hat. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, that's cool. I'm like, what are the chances I find two Pirelli things in one day? So, uh, very cool. Uh, I might team these up together. I don't think this is a hugely expensive hat, but I think it might be nice when I throw the jack on the mannequin to put the head on the mannequin and put the hat on the head. So I'm making, yeah. I'm making it a little bit more of a grouping, a little bit more attractive. Yeah, definitely. Yes, the jacket is reflective, Tim. Yeah, it, look, it's like that bra. If you could feel this jacket, you'd be like, whoa, that is one substantial jacket. Okay. Uh, yes, it is a lot brighter in my office tonight because the one light wasn't working. So I put the overhead light on. That's what he noticed. Yeah. So, <laughs> you said that before the show. You're like, I'm going to be so bright. And I'm like, you're fine. And somebody noticed. I hate overhead. My pet peeve is overhead lights. Ugh. I don't like, yeah, I don't like the floor. I used to knock out, when I worked in an office, I used to stand up on my desk and knock out the fluorescent light above my desk because. Oh, Pirelli, Pirelli is a type of tires that a lot of, yeah. you, you, you you can buy them race. for race cars, but... But they're for race teams, yeah. race cars, yeah. So uh, I, I've tried to do research on that jacket. I cannot find it, but I still mm -hmm. think I have a winner there. With a, I mean, it's got keywords for days. Right. Awesome. Oh, hey, somebody wants to know, will jackets sell in May? Yes, jackets will sell in May because, A, that's an international jacket, so it'll be an international crowd. B, someplace that's always cold. Always. Mm -hmm. and it's I cold here today. I wore a jacket here today. Yeah, May sells internationally. Y'all should sell internationally, so it's cold someplace right now. It not is. here. Not oh, not here. All right, now you're up. All righty. So I teased these. You know, I found these awesome boots that um, were next to now. Now in this, my my Goodwill now has like this big, huge box, like a box that I could fit in of shoes that you just have to dig through. It's it's a mess, but um, you know my Goodwill, so it's not organized. But in there was a twenty dollar pair of coach of coach sneakers that were all beat up, and then there were these for six ninety nine, and this is also coach, but these are nice coach suede boots. Wow, those are really um, nice. Yeah, I know. You can see the coach on the bottom. Uh, they're nicely crafted coach. They're the higher end coach. They're not like kind of craftily crafted like the mass produced sneakers are they're not as and then if you look at the inside here um if i don't knock my glass over here um you oh, can see the breaking stuff you can see the coach logo on the inside and in the lining and they're suede they're lace up they are just and they're heavy they're just awesome so um i haven't looked these up but just knowing what i know about shoes i'm thinking i will put them up for probably around um $79.99 or $89.99 with best offer. They're wooden, they're wooden platform soles too, heavy wooden. So, and when I got to the register, um, the um, the cashier, she was like, she saw the bottom. She was like, wait a minute, these are coach? And I was like, yeah. She's like, oh, we missed those. Ah, so, I, love, I love cart envy from the person ringing. Oh, the she was mad that they missed them. She was like, no way. Cart envy is when you walk past someone else's cart and you look in there and you go, damn, I wish I had that. So also going, I'll just do a couple of shoes now. So this is a brand called Margaret Gerald. Um, they say Margaret J in there. These are the newer-ish ones. They're all vintage from the 70s and 80s, mostly 80s. These are 80s. Um, the older ones said Margaret Gerald in them. So I, you, I'll i use in the keywords Margaret J. Gerald. You kind of sound like you're um, drunk when you say that name. Margaret Gerald. Ger I don't know if it's Gerald or it's J-E-R-R-O-L-D. Gerald. Okay, well, thanks for making fun of me, but let's No, no, go. no, that name sounds. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, she does these really funky designs. Um, they're usually, like, very, like, swirly, very, um, you know, like, just just cool um, designs on her shoes. They're, kind, they're very artsy. And uh, they have leather soles. They're made well. I paid, as you can see from the Goodwill sticker inside, $3.99 for these. And... <clears throat> I expect to get about thirty nine ninety nine for them. So 
That's a cool vintage brand to look out for. You might have a customer for those boots if it's the right size. Uh, okay. They're eight, and a, they're eight and a half. Eight and a half, all things collectible. Okay. So these are, this is a pair of J. Wait, Crew. Wait, 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 wait. Were the boots eight and a half? That's what she's asking about. Not those shoes. The boots, no, the boots, the coach boots are eight and a half. Okay, cool. We're all on the same page yeah. now. Thank you. Move yeah, on. I was bummed because they I would have kept them if they were my size, but they're too small for my feet. So darn. Um, these are J. Crew flats, and these are in the $2 section. I picked up two pairs, actually. The other one is satin. And um, so always look. You can see the $2 written on the bottom. Always look for those sale shoes. J. Crew does is a bread and butter brand. It sells well. So I'll probably sell those for each about $20 to $25, which for $2 is a bad. And then um, I have these boots that I paid $0.50 cents for. So they're suede. Yeah, they're at the yeah because the blue tag at Circle Thrift is is fifty cents. So they're Steve Madden. They're Steven by Steve Madden, um, and they're they're nice suede. I need they need to be cleaned up, but they're in in good shape structurally. So um, I should be able to get once they're cleaned up uh, about fifty bucks for them. And Jason, I want I have to ask you about this because I also paid fifty cents on this was a blue tag, and I think this is a clunker of a brand, uh -oh. but. Oh. oh, somebody said they like my blouse, so thank you. This was from Philly Ace Thrift in the dollar room. Can you imagine that, last, that, that, that lasted to the dollar room? Isn't that I know. It's a, it, look at this shirt. It's vintage. It's, it's like a rodeo. And yeah, and it lasted to the dollar room. Yeah, I don't know how, but I got in the dollar room. So this is Joseph A. Bank. I know that's not like a great brand, right? It's like kind of, kind of common kind of Jason. Yeah, they, uh, they they make a lot of men's clothes, and uh, you know they're not okay. they're not fancy, but they're they're. But I got it for fifty cents. Higher end workhorse brand. It's my first men's sport coat that I've ever picked up, and I got it for fifty cents. It's in good shape, um, and it is. I don't. The only thing is, I don't see. Oh, here it is. It's a size. No, can't find a size tag in it. So I guess I just have to measure it then. Hmm. Yeah, there's no size tag. So I'll measure. So you'll have to teach me about measuring these things because this is my very yeah, first no long sport coat. So what do you think I'll be able to get for this? Because I really don't know. I haven't paid 50 cents. That's why I got well, it. Well, it, it'll determine the size. How many buttons is it? Um, let's see. There are one, two, it's like three buttons on it. All right, so it'd be much better if it was a two button. So a three button, yeah, maybe twenty, twenty five bucks. Okay, well, for fifty cents, that's not oh, bad. Oh, yeah, well, uh, I ain't hating on you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, do you want to take it? Or? Sure. Okay. okay. Okay, rap hip hop stuff does not do well, uh, so don't buy it. Don't buy it, except for a few uh, exceptions. Wu Tang always an exception. All Wu Tang sells. Early Wu Tang, which is now called vintage, I feel, I feel old saying that, uh, sells for big money. Tupac stuff sells well. Biggie stuff sells well. Anything early 80s will sell. Anything modern. <laughs> but um, Tupac had a brand, uh, Machiavelli. This is a really spectacular Machiavelli shirt because, A, it's a collage of a bunch of him, and it's an uh, embroidered Machiavelli brand. So it's a pretty cool shirt. I couldn't find this exact one, uh, but I'm going to probably list it for $35. And it is size double X, and I paid 3 bucks for it. Uh, we're going to – oh. So I teased, I teased a ghetto plush today. So I'm going to show that in a second. But I always tell you to look for the odd plush. There are a lot of dogs. There are a lot of rabbits. There are a lot of cats. But there's not a lot of other animals. So this penguin spoke to me, Emperor Penguin. He's really nice. I did not know the brand. What did he say to you? He said, bye me, Jason. <laughs> I did not know the brand. It is Hansa. And he sells routinely, this specific one sells routinely for 25 to 30 bucks. So he was like uh, $2. Cool. Now, are you, are you all ready for ghetto Eeyore? Okay, now, everyone, let's see him. Everyone picture an Eeyore plush you have seen. Now, what color is Eeyore, Nadine? He is gray. Yeah, kind of like a grayish blue. Mm -hmm. I, I saw, and, and they priced this like it was real. I saw this and went, oh my God, that is the most awful ghetto Eeyore. Like, how does this company think Disney's not going to sue the shit out of them? I don't understand. You ready? Mm hmm Look Look at this. Wow. He's cross-eyed. <laughs> He's shocking blue. 
Yeah, he's bright blue. Oh my gosh, he's got like hoops. They even got the bow on the tail. Oh my. Yeah. But this wow. is so ridiculous. And these eyebrows are ridiculous. So but what are yeah. you going to do with him? Uh, I, I don't know. I might actually return him, but I definitely wanted to show you guys tonight because I paid. Uh, I did not find him in Crazy Town. I found him at the big one. I Yeah, he's uh, very cross-eyed. I, I don't him think that him. you can sell him because I think he would be under the counterfeit. Um, yeah, I said, look, yeah, so. you guys priced pretty right on. This is not real. Plus, the tag doesn't say Disney. It says... What does it say? I want to know what it says. Liberty Toy out of Cleveland. Hey, Cleveland. Oh, no. <laughs> the scammers are in Cleveland. But let me tell you, too. This camera ain't doing this justice. This is shocking blue. I can, No, I can tell. I can tell. It's a, yeah, I, it's love the, yeah. I love the crossed eye but, but, and the, and but, the red the plush, and, the plush is kind of nice. Like, it, it wasn't a crappy really? plush. Really? Yeah, that's what, that's what shocked me. Oh my! So oh. you can re you can return him to Savers? Yeah, you got a week. Oh, mm, I, I, yeah. I didn't have my media all together. So uh, speaking of that section where you find stuff like music books, this is the piano music, The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Walt Disney. This is a uh, twenty-five to thirty dollar book. I paid two dollars. And uh, all although the cover is kind of scuffed, the book itself is is tight and strong, and the pages are good. <clears throat> and this is a pretty bitchin' book, The Art of the Nightmare Before Christmas by Tim Burton. And no one has this at FBA, so I might send this in to FBA. Cool. All right, now you're, you're this. This. you ready? Sure. What do we always say is better than an item with one brand on it? A double branded item. And what's better than that? A quadruple branded item. Okay, between double and quadruple, back it up one. <laughs> I just bumped it right up to the, the triple branded item. I saw this right away, knew the, the, the major brand. And then when I unfurled that, I went, oh, this is three things. It, oh, is, let's see. it is a bandana that is A, a Lily Pulitzer, B, oh. Ford Motors, C, breast cancer. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. I have a couple of the Ford breast cancer um, bandanas. I don't have a Lily one, though. That's pretty cool. Not one. Not two, oh. but three for 70 cents each. So you're sending me one or keeping one for me for when I come? We don't drive a Ford. No, so I, I have breast cancer and I like Lily Pulitzer. Yeah, well, you don't drive a Ford. That's, for the Ford. That's only for the Ford drivers. My first car was a Ford Mustang. Ah, somebody sold that before. Okay, we'll have to talk about that later. Okay, so Nay and I have talked about always, uh, if you can, uh, oh, anytime you can raise money for a cause, do it. I don't, I don't, I think enough people don't do it when they can, and it doesn't even have to be anything like you, you don't even have to pay out of your pocket. But if you like, for instance, we help support the local uh, pug rescue, and that's where uh, Tocha came from. Or, I'm sorry, that's where Roxy came from, who's no longer with us. Tocha came from the pound, but they have like four auctions a year where they put up all these fun things and people bid on them. And uh, the, the surfers of the thrifting board has helped out in the past. And so when you find kick-ass shirts like this, you buy it and save it for the next auction. Because Irish pug is bitching. Look at that. An Irish pug smoking a pipe. How do you beat that? Pretty cool. Okay, everybody says I get a bandana, so. Uh, well, when you get a Ford truck, then you can get a bandana. My first car was a Ford Mustang. Don't count. In fact, I had two Ford Mustangs. <laughs> oh, sorry. De Debbie says her snoring husband is snoring loud, so speak up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not a huge return because there's so much product, but it's, I love this show and I love this character, so it's so bitchin'. This is uh, Daryl from The Walking Dead. This is a bitchin' extra large shirt. And I had a sneaking suspicion that maybe someone watching tonight would be like, I need that shirt. So it is an extra large. Very cool shirt. And one of the one of the brands of T-shirts that we're we're kind of telling you not to get anymore is uh, Harley Davidson. They still don't sell like they used to, but there are rare exceptions, and you should always pick up the good ones. This is from Harley Davidson Deadwood, and what's Deadwood famous for? Um, I don't know some TV show. Well, no. Okay, I don't know. Deadwood is where the um, oh, what the hell is it called now? Where the presidents are carved in the mountain. Mount Rushmore. No. Yeah. Oh, Mount Rushmore? 
Yeah. But it's also, been got, there. But it's also got Wild Bill on the front. And okay. his, his Dead Man's Hand. That's called, this is called the Dead Man's Hand Aces and Eights. So there are so many key words in this shirt. Make sure you would use them. Aces and Eights, Wild Bill, for sure. And then what do you see on this shirt, Nadine? Disneyland, yeah. What else do you see? Mickey. My hidden Mickey, yes, the sun's right. Mickey's head. That's what you call a hidden Mickey. So uh, I, I probably wouldn't have bought it had it not had the Mickey head, but I think it's pretty cool. And that shore catch is 3D. It's kind of uh, embroidered mm -hmm. on top. Yeah, this, yeah. So that is a large. Now, in the bandana section was this one, and bandana section mm -hmm. there is in our savers i learned about no, i'm it. just i'm just you know i'm just digging in there i uh i, I learned a, a valuable lesson i left a lot of good bandanas behind last night so i'll probably pick them up on monday if yeah still. but you got some good lily pulitzer breast cancer bandanas I didn't know this brand have you ever heard of this brand it's called wham craft no i have not lynn hudziak that shirt is a large so they make um Cowboy and uh, South uh, Southwestern uh, Native American type bandanas. Okay. Yes, Christine, we have bandana sections here in the United States. Yeah, I know that's crazy. I, we don't have that in our. And look at this. Here. This is a U.S. Marshall one. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Now, what I left behind was all the Southwestern Indian prints, and then I was looking this up today, and I can't find this one. But the Southwestern Indian prints were selling for like twelve to twenty bucks, and there were I left like twenty two of them behind. I'm like, whoops. Wow. <laughs> So, so now I know this brand, and now I know what sells. The cowboy stuff, the Indian stuff sells very well. So uh, I'm going to go back and pick up the ones I left behind the other day. All right, you're up. somebody bought them all. No, nobody's smart but me. Well, it's kind of dumb, but now I'm smart because I've educated myself. All right, so these were $2 in the $2 section at Circle at my Circle Star. Um, they are a men's size medium. They're, it's called Varsity Sleepwear. They are sock monkeys. Um, I don't know this brand, but I'm assuming, you know, I'll be able to get like 25 bucks for these. Fun fact, I used to work for a company called Varsity Spirit Fashions. Uh, was that the cheerleader thing? That that you? The, yeah, for those of you who don't know, I used to buy the... cheerleaders for their uniforms. I'm not shit yet. Okay, so I also, yes, we, I got a J. Crew blazer for, uh, it's a size four, but it was 50 cents because it was a blue tag that day. So I, it does have some, um, does have some staining on the underarms, which is very undesirable, but I will get that out before I will sell this. Uh, but, you know, for 50 cents, it's really cute. It's got a cute lining. It's very cute. Uh, I like that. Yeah, it'll sell. I'll put it up. Once I get the stains out, I'll put it up for $39.99 with Best Offer. Um, and um, let me see what else here. Oh, I've got this. Um, I've got this awesome uh, fabric here that is, it's like a Western print. It's Indians and cowboys, and it's um, it's cotton. It's a heavy cotton too. Um, so this should do pretty good. There's about two yards here. And oh, this is a score. So oh, this is a score. This is a score. Um, I have uh, I got this um, Isabella Fiore hand painted purse. It's called Love in the Summer, and it is in almost pristine shape and it's got um i you know i thought originally i thought that the that the zipper pulls were not were missing but when i looked inside the purse there they were and it was easily fixable i reattached them there they are um this purse was i paid six dollars for it and it'll sell for about a hundred nice so, uh, yeah, it'll sell for about a hundred. It's it's a this is a awesome Isabella Fiore purse, and it's it's authentic. It's I have heavy. never seen an Isabella Fiore purse that wasn't full of bedazzles. Oh no, this is this is uh yeah you can see there's the a lot I, of them are I, like this. Wait, I, and I was answering a text. Man, how much you pay for this? I paid six dollars, and it'll sell for about a hundred. That is one of my favorite brand of purses to find. You find Isabella Fiore purses, you have got like Nay said. Yeah, and this one's hand painted. So this is one of her leather ones that's hand painted. It's awesome. And it's just off the hook. I was so excited to find that. Um, and then um, I have a Lily Pulitzer. This is an adorable little skirt. Um, Lily Pulitzer summer mini skirt. You can see it's got 
cute little crickets in it. Crickets and flowers. Crickets. Where are the crickets? The crickets are right. They're they're kind of like abstract crickets, but they are crickets. Where? Um, Show me. Right. right now, I'm, right see. now, I don't believe you at all. There's crickets. Oh, I do see them now. I sorry, I take it all back. I do see them now. Oh, like I would just lie on. <laughs> um, we have Betsy uh, Johnson shorts. They're flamingo shorts. They're kind of fuzzy. They're cute. I paid uh, four ninety nine, and they are new with tags. And I expect to sell them for probably about twenty to twenty five bucks. So, not a big score, but. And then people are very loyal to their Gap brands. Um, so when you find Gap new with tags, especially when they're like a size ten, which is a you know a more common size, um, these had an original price tag of forty eight dollars. With the new tags, I expect to put them up for about thirty four ninety nine with best offer, and I'm hoping to get about thirty for them. So that's a pretty good deal. Um, and, uh, let's see. And then one of our viewers, Missy sent me a box of linens that she, she just couldn't list them. And she was like, I'm sending them to you. And it was so awesome. So I have all these vintage linens to list. Hey, do you know um, how Lori makes shoes? Yes. I have a pair of shoes right down here actually. Oh, Cause somebody just said they sold some. I'm like, I had no clue she sold shoes. Yeah. I have Isabella for your shoes to list. They're in my pile right below me somewhere if I could pull them out I would but um so Missy gave, sent me the our viewer Missy sent me all these awesome lim this is just a sampling of some of them these are some vintage um handkerchiefs and linens that were in there they're cute little designs they're all vintage this is a one of the beautiful um embroidered uh tea towels there were some pillowcases and just some awesome, uh, there were some napkins and whatnot, just some awesome embroidered vintage. So I have to go through that whole box and I will list each of them, either in, some of them in lots, some of them individually, and they should do really well. And uh, do you want me to do like two more? How many more things do you have? Um, probably about, uh, well, probably about 10 more things of that. All right, so do two more, and then we'll do your eight, and then I'll, uh, two more. I'll show a couple of my last things. Do your eight, and then I'll tease our next haul, which is coming up very soon. <laughs> okay, so this brand is called 14th and Union. 14th and Union is a low-end Nordstrom brand. So if you know Nordstrom, it's a high-end store, but this is like a no -end, a low, like low-end brand for that high-end store, that makes sense. So this is a shirt that I got at my local Goodwill, and I picked it up because it was new with tags and it was also half off. And so I paid like $2 for it and it is a size small, but it's kind of like that generous sizing. So, you know, it's got like the empire waist. It's really cute. It's, it's a nice style. And these sell uh, for about $20, $25. So they're not really like high, you know, for Nordstrom, you know, new with tags, you would think it would do better. But for $2, this was worth the flip on that. So, and then these are really you just your, um, uh, cowboy fabric. Oh, does somebody want that? Yeah, Sabrina Cornelius wants it. So. You guys, oh. make sure you, you would touch Okay, it. yeah, yeah. hit me up about that, Sabrina, and we'll make a deal. Um, I forget how many yards are there, but um, I'll let you know. And uh, it's pretty nice fabric. So this is Lily Pulitzer. These are shorts. They're like cute little mini shorts. And um, this this type of this style, it's a this is a newer one. It's called the Walsh, the Walsh short. And the Walsh short sells for... Um, Probably I I will probably be able to get about thirty dollars for these, and I paid two ninety nine. So, and if you look in the fabric, they have hidden um, they have hidden squids and hidden um, shells and lily. Like the word lily is in there too. So, pretty pretty cute little shorts there. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. All right. So. I teased some bitchin' electronics, one of the best electronics finds I've ever had in a thrift store. I don't know what's going on here. I have a sneaking suspicion they were either gifts or stolen and donated. I don't know. Don't care. You know what a TiVo is? Nadine, come in. Nadine. Sorry, I was I was answering the chat. Yes, I, I well, I know what a TiVo is because you told me what a TiVo is. 
So I don't TV, have a TiVo. I don't watch TV. I don't really care. Yeah. The specific version of a DVR records your shows. The brand new model is called the TiVo Bolt. And here's one that I picked up in Goodwill for $20 that sells for $300. And although the box is open, nothing else is inside the box. That's why it made me go like, what? So look, everything, ah, oh, sorry. Everything is still wrapped. The bolt itself is still wrapped. When I looked in to where the plugs and the uh, remote should be, it's all still wrapped. So this is a $300 piece of equipment for only 20 bucks. Now, wow. the funny thing was, Nadine, this was uh, rightfully so at the glass display case at a Goodwill, and they were bringing out fresh purses, what they were deeming high end. And there was like seven ladies that were like throwing elbows to get the shot of the purses, which of course you had to ask to see. And the whole time they're fighting over purses, which about a third of them looked like they were fake anyway, I'm noticing this TiVo in the display case for only $20. Wow. And then right next to it is what they call a TiVo Mini. So when you have a TiVo on your main TV and you have a TV in your bedroom, you buy this Mini and it beams the signal from a TiVo to your bedroom. Now, I was, I was looking up to see if this has been running. <laughs> One TV in my house, so I can't even imagine all this stuff. Uh, so I looked, I looked this uh, barcode up to see if it was registered yet, and I'm such a moron, I accidentally registered to myself because when you buy this, it comes with a lifetime. This is new for 150 bucks, and I got it for $15, and I needed one wow. anyway, so I'm keeping it. But this was the greatest electronic score I've ever found. And, and, and although, again, the box isn't sealed, everything inside is sealed. This so is, how did they get donated? That's nuts. I have no clue. But I'm going to happily use it. <laughs> so uh, pretty neat. So I'm going to sell the Bolt because the Bolt only records four shows at one time. I have an older version of the TiVo, but mine records six shows at one time. And if you know me, you know I'm a TV junkie. And sometimes I'm, I'm recording more than four, so I can't ever go down. I've never recorded live TV in my life. <laughs> All right. So uh, Nadine hates this band, and so I sent her this last night as a joke picture. Oh, God. Here we go. Yeah. You bought it. This is a blanket. It is ACDC. For those about to rock, we salute you. Mm. Hang on. It's a big blanket. You going to send me that as a gift? Yeah. So that was Instead a of a lily Pulitzer like shark. Four bucks. Oh, I like, I like Susan's guess. Uh, someone's getting divorced and they pissed off their ex by donating their brand new TiVo stuff. <laughs> 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 All right. Last thing I picked up myself was, and this is a huge bolo. Write this down. You got a pen, you got a paper, you got a crayon, you got a coloring book, whatever. All versions of Stratego sell very well. Now, this wow. is when I say more modern, I, I mean 1986. The the mm -hmm. one I played with growing up was from the 60s or early 70s, and the pieces are wooden. These pieces are plastic. But this one still, I, I Googled it and uh, or I eBayed it. Uh, this was selling for $30. I picked it up for $2.10. So, Stratego, write it down. Find the versions, and it always, always sells well. Yeah, see, Stacy said she's sold a couple of Stratego's. And it's a pretty good game, especially when you're young and you're, you know, hmm. it's it's kind of, uh, it, it's kind of like chess and risk together. You kind of build your battlefield of soldiers. And, okay, I've uh, never heard of it. <laughs> and I've never heard of, I, I, I've, yeah, I've heard of risk and chess. I've played chess. I've never played risk. Now, this is what we call hashtag techno thrifting. One day, I'm in Philly with Nadine, matter of fact, and uh, uh, Chris, a gentleman uh, in the thrifting board, uh, lives in Vegas, was at a Savers. Why he took a picture of it and didn't buy it, I don't know. But he took a picture of something amazing, forgot to buy it because the wife was like going, come on, come on. And so he left, and then he posted in the group. He goes, hey, I, I totally forgot to buy this, but I did take a picture. If anyone uh, wants to go get this, it is a score. So I immediately texted my wife. I said, "You need to go down to Savers and Henderson right now." I remember that we had Stacy. We had Stacy yeah. shopping. So I got this <laughs> badass doll. It's called Killjoy. And creepy clown, yay! And uh, it, 
it was five dollars and sixty cents and it sells for about forty dollars now it is new in box the only bummer is the cellophane is punctured right there so that is called techno thrifting i'm in philly chris is in vegas he missed it text my wife send her the picture that she goes picks it up and buys a couple other things too yeah she was asking about other stuff too that was funny yeah, because Stacy figured, oh, shit, while well, I'm here. So Stacy started sending us pictures, like, should I buy this? Should I buy this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was kind of fun. I, we were watching her thrift. We are like, oh, should she get oh, this? I, got one thing I, have to share. I have to share with a picture because it's so big. So go ahead and show me your last eight items, please. Okay. So this I teased. Um, this is called Parrot Jungle. It was a um, it was a an attraction, I think, in Miami, Florida. And it's, it's extinct now. And I picked this up because I saw... Like Jason had said about, you know, parrots being kind of tiki-ish, but not really. Yeah, and yeah, so it says GF um, and it's made in, I don't know what, because part of the sticker is missing. But Jason looked this up for me too, and we can't find it, right? Yeah, it's uh, kind of rare. So you're thinking like put it out for forty nine ninety nine and let yeah. it sail and see what happens. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. As, and as break it. I know. I'm hoping I don't. Yeah. So I have some more good yarn. I have a couple of Irish tweed, um, yeah, which is look at the Irish yarn. Yeah. So that's wool and silk, and I have a couple of those. They should sell for about ten bucks a piece. So I'll lot those up, and then I have three of these. This is in inner um, Aslan. It's called Aslan Trends, and it's rabbit angora um, wool and um, oh merino wool and rabbit angora um so this is really soft it's really nice i have three hanks of these and they'll sell for about 40 dollars for all three and i paid 2.99 yes these are hanks not skeins and let's see that's one two things so three okay so this is a dress that is it is a size zero i don't usually buy such low sizes but it's a pretty good designer so this designer is called uh, Christian Christian Flat Francis Raw. If you look there, and if you look up their comp, their completed, they're so pretty good. And this was half off, that's why I bought it. So I paid like four dollars for it, and it should go for. Um, I should on the low end be able to get about fifty for it. On the high end, maybe about seventy or eighty. So it, it all depends. It is a size zero, so I do expect it to sit for a while. But there are. You know, there's tiny buyers, so, and it's a wool blend, so it might sit for that reason, too, for a little bit, but um, I thought it was worth the investment for that price. So Rags1602 wants to know, yarn without labels is still okay to pick up? Um, if you know, if you can tell the, the content, yes. Um, it's it's kind of like a, a thing that you kind of, um, it's a learning curve, um, but if you can tell the fabric, the, um, the, you can tell the textile, like the, the content of it, of the fiber, that's what I'm trying to say, then um, yes, it's always worth it if you can tell that it's wool or virgin wool or um, cashmere or something like that. Um, so these are David Brooks pants. Not They're new with tags. It's not like a crazy high-end brand or anything. They do have a price tag of $78 though. And they're kind of a fun spring summer print. So I think I'll get about, you know, $30, $35 for these. Nice. And yeah, and these were sent by my mystery, um, my mystery friend. So thank you. It's um, yeah. And I had two, two more things that were also sent by them. It's a new with tags. Um, this is a Lance of Salzburg. It's one of those like kind of, um, traditional kind of nightgowns, you know, but they do sell. There's the following for these. So I expect to get um, about $25 to $30 for that. And then this is a boutique little girl's dress that ha is new with tags also. Um, and this is the kind of thing, it's actually a little jumper. It's like a romper. But you're looking for these kind of boutique items in the, in the, in the baby or kids clothes. Um, this will probably bring about $12 to $15. But you know, when you're paying just a dollar or two for one of, you know, for kids' clothes, it's worth it. And they're so easy to ship and list. So, Ooh, um, someone's, someone's interested in my ACDC blanket. That'll be a quick sale. 
Oh, wow. I will I will message you when I'm done. We'll cut a deal. And then my last item here is a this is a actually a window treatment. It's a window balance, but oh cool. Yeah, it's Spider-Man and it's really awesome. Um, what's important about Spider-Man right now? Uh, is there there is a new movie coming out? Yes, but what's even more important? This is this is where you need to know pop culture and be a real geek like me. Um, there's the movie is like a combination of a bunch of Marvel. Now you're just guessing. Yeah, I don't know. Just <laughs> rambling. Uh, no, so if you don't know, if you're not fully aware of how Marvel works, Marvel didn't used to have a movie studios back in the day, so they would sell their properties to other studios. So Fox owns uh, Fantastic Four, and Sony owns Spider-Man. And uh, the contract is, as long as they make a movie every so many years, they'll never lose the rights to it. Marvel, now that they have a movie studio, would like it back. But finally, Marvel and Sony said, you know, we can make a lot more money if we play together. And so in this Spider-Man, which this kid playing Spider-Man is really, really good, uh, Iron Man is going to be in this movie. So they have crossed the two companies together. So you will see Spider-Man and Iron Man fighting. So it'll be pretty bitching. Okay. So that's the, yeah. So when you were in Philly, you were like geeking out over this. this. Oh, um, yeah. No, no, no. There was like something that you were watching on your laptop and I was just like, oh, whatever. But that's what it was, I think. Yeah. So one more thing. I just, this is not Tiki. I know that, but it's Raymond Waits Bally Certified International Co Corporation. And when I look these up, um, these go for, I have a six of these and if I don't break them, um, they Pretty should great. go, yeah, they should go for about 40 to $50. So, I mean, that's not bad. I paid, um, I, think I paid like $4.99 for all of them. So, um, yeah, so that's not bad. They're very breakable, though, so I have to be really careful. Oh. Cool. All right, so here's the last thing from this haul, and then we're going to tell you what's coming up because we got a lot of fun yes. stuff coming up, mm -hmm. so do not run away just yet. But look, yes. check this out. This is uh, – um, oh, yeah, i got to switch this over here. Oops, hang on a minute. This is name making me go into the fabric section. You ready what I found? Ta-da. A giant dog's plane poker tapestry. Whoa, and I have that, that, do you know that I have a quilt that's dogs playing poker that I have that, listed right now? Isn't that great? And it was That only, is awesome. Wait for it. It was only $2.99. Wow. Yeah. Is that quilted, Jason, or is it? I, I'll, I'll you said say. tapestry. You used the word tapestry. I need to know exactly what that means. Yeah, well, it's not here because that's why I took the picture of it because it was so big. I'm like, no point in trying to hold it up. Uh, it was, you know, yeah. it was awesome. All right. Cool. So I got, I got a couple more things I'm going to, I'm going to show you right now. So don't go anywhere, but I'm going to tell you a couple things first. All right. So for those of you who are not in my secret beach, it is now opening soon again. And the, we're, we're going to, we always tie the opening of the secret beach to a webinar. So I am finally going to give you all the Tiki webinar. It's going to be called Tiki Talk. What is it? And should I buy it? So, you know, I always help, and I always will help on all things Tiki, but I'm actually going to give uh, the history lesson up, Tiki, so you have a better working knowledge of it. And at the end of the uh, webinar, you'll be able to join the Secret Beach. Now, here's the key to this. This is like Tiki 101. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to make money. So if, even if you don't join the Secret Beach at the end, uh, you will make money off of your knowledge. But in the Secret Beach going forward for the next year and a half, uh, the webinar is broken down into eight parts. It's going to be mugs, both modern and vintage, music, clothing, art, etc. Every other month in the Secret Beach, I'm going to break down one of those parts fully and then go into serious bolos for each of those parts. So you'll get good bolos in the webinar, but then if you join the Secret Beach, among the other things that we're teaching, you will get all kinds of sweet bolos. Speaking of that, here's what's upcoming. I have a lot going on, and... Uh, so tomorrow, Sunday, May 7th, my mother and I will be doing our selling past their expiration date, being thrifty over 50, making a multi-variation listing on eBay. If you don't know what those words mean, and you're selling like, say, 12 t-shirts of the same shirt, but you have like three in red, three in blue, six in yellow, and then sizes from small to extra large, you don't have to make 12 listings. You can make one listings with all those variations. So we're going to go slow through that. And then mom's got some sweet hauls and some sweet scores, so that's tomorrow at 11. Then Monday morning, May 8th, at 10 a.m., we're going to do a bonus thrifting haul this week. It's going to be a mini tiki haul. In the two seconds, I'm going to give you a tease of that. 
And then Monday night, for those of you in the Seeker Beach, we are doing the Star Wars webinar with my buddy Dan Wright. The way I collect tiki's, Dan collects Star Wars stuff. So we're gonna, he's going to teach you what to look for, both vintage and modern. And I got all kinds of uh, examples here because I'm working on a bunch of vintage toys. And then this Thursday at our normal time, Thrifty Business with Jay and Nay. I think we have a good guest. We just got to get him uh, actually to <laughs> solidify his answer. So that is coming up. Those are all our shows coming up. So make sure to, if you have not subscribed, subscribe down here. Hit the like button, please. And now I'm going to tease you with our haul for this Monday morning. Yes, here's I have I, a couple items too. So. Yes. And here's what I hear from everybody. Okay, I know Tiki because it is my passion. It is my entire house. If you've been to my house, all my friends call it the museum. I have over 850 mugs, art, thousands of things in our house. People say they can never find it. I find it all the time. And I find it all the time because I kind of know what to look for and where to look. And some things that I'm going to teach you about in the webinar and, and in this hall first, some things that you think aren't tiki are tiki. So I'm going to tease you a little bit. I went to a garage sale. This mug was $3. I'm not showing you what's on the other side of this mug, but this mug is worth $50. And it was at a regular garage sale. Okay? This stuff is out there. you got to know what to look for. This is a carved tiki. This is an actual tiki. This is carved. These are uh, all carved the kind of the same way all throughout Hawaii at every gathering place under the banyan tree in Lahaina, Maui, at every luau. But the only place to buy these is Hawaii. So it was a lot cheaper to buy the tiki on eBay than to fly to Hawaii. So this was $10. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what I'm going to sell it for in the hall. This was from the same garage sale, by the way. And this purse was $3. And I'll talk all about this artist and this purse. And this is like a $50 purse. These were from a garage sale, a regular garage sale, not a tiki person, but it was a person who had a few tiki things. And so we're going to talk, we're going to, the whole haul on Thursday is one garage sale and one stop at Savers where I found a bunch of other tiki stuff uh, two days apart. And so the tiki stuff is out there and there's money to be made. And let me tease one more thing that I'm really going to show you in depth in the webinar. I bought two of the Tiki Holy Grails yesterday. Unfortunately, I was able to buy them both in the same day. That was not good for my pocketbook. Let me tell you right now. It cost me a lot of money. And I'm going to tell you the price for two reasons. I got good deals on both of them. But I'm going to show you how much money can be made. I bought one mug and one piece of art. Oh, let's play a guessing game, Nadine. We'll win the show on that. All right. All right, chat. I bought one tiny Tiki mug. If you know, because some of you know, don't 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 ruin the fun. One mug and one piece of art to hang up. How much did I spend on two items yesterday? I did get approval from the wife, but the key is I had to I have to sell some of our extras that would cover the cost. <laughs> that was the deal. So yeah, that's fair. So what do you think I spent on just two little things? First guess seventy six dollars. Second guess eight hundred four eighty two hundred one hundred fifty five hundred. 20 bucks. No, no, these are holy grails and they knew they're holy grails. Somebody saw it on, uh, on Thrift and Board. Okay, I'll tell you all right now. Oh, City Picker is the closest. Ooh, no. Debbie Parker got closer. Y'all still ain't there yet. Yeah, but Debbie Parker's right. Boom. Jonathan Scalfani wins. One mug, one piece of art. I spent $1,400, but yet. Those normally sell together, uh, if you would combine them, for about uh, $2,500 to $3,000. So I still got a good deal. That's crazy. Uh-oh. I think oh. you froze. Did you freeze? Or, okay. Did I freeze? You did oh, freeze. I did freeze. Yes. You're My okay back. now. You're back. You're good. Yeah, I don't know what people heard now. Am I officially okay. back? Because I'm watching the feed and, and the little wheel's still spinning. Yeah, I know. I know. You're you're back. Right. You're good. Huh. I am still not seeing me. So, um, oh, you're, you're you weren't okay. seeing him back? Yeah, okay. you're back. You're good. Okay. All right. So I don't know what you heard, but what I wanted to show you, I'm not, I'm not saying that to brag. Hey, it's been $1,400 yesterday. What I'm showing you is there is crazy money to be made in there, and I got a sweet deal. Those two products usually would sell for... 
now it's saying uh Uh oh, I think you dropped out, Jay. All right, so I think we dropped, lost Jay entirely. <laughs> so yeah, he spent fourteen hundred dollars on two tiki items yesterday, and uh, I think the point is that you can make a lot of money on uh, reselling some of those items. And I know one of them was a super holy grail, so um, I did actually see it. And hello, hello, hello. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I was just my, babbling. So go ahead. Back. Okay, good. And here's the weird thing. I'm watching the Wi-Fi. It didn't drop. I, I don't know what happened there. That was, oh, yeah. You just totally dropped off. So I started yammering yeah. about your Tiki purchases. Yeah. So so a little bit in this Tiki haul on Tuesday. I'm going to show everything I got. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what I paid and what it's worth. And then the webinar, which will be in about 10 days. It'll be uh, 10 bucks for the webinar. I'm going to teach you all of that. So the, the person who found the piece of art was in the group. He didn't want to ship it because it's a big piece. He paid 300, I gave him 600. I doubled his money and no work, I'm gonna pick it up from him. So it can be done. And he found it in LA at an estate sale and he was late and it was still there. So all the LA Tiki peeps were not paying attention that day. So we will, that's what the webinar will be teaching you. It'll be about an hour webinar. I will take all questions. And at the end of that webinar, the secret beach will be open. So on Tuesday though, I will show you what's on the other side of this mug that makes it worth 50 bucks. And I have a whole, I mean. It's actually um, our haul, our, our video, our haul video is actually Monday, not Tuesday. I'm oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yep, everything's <laughs> failing in my brain. Yeah, Monday, so our Monday. haul video is Monday at at um, one o'clock Eastern time, which is 10 um, Pacific time. And then the webinar, the, um, the actual, um, the Star Wars webinar is that same night. Yeah. So not Tuesday, yes. Monday, Monday. Yes, the tiki art was Woodco, not Wilco, not the uh, band. <laughs> oh, <Yes. It> wasn't <laughs> I know Wilco, Wilco, yeah. And when we when I do the tiki webinar, I will definitely uh, talk a little bit about Woodco. And then when I do the whole webinars inside the Secret Beach, I will break down all the furniture because Wicco did art and furniture. And if you don't know what Wicco is, I would go look it up on eBay right now when we're done. And if you've ever seen Graceland, Elvis's house, the jungle room, that is what is that is Whitco furniture, and that's worth a lot, lot, lot of money. And and I've found Whitco just sitting in a. I found Whitco sitting in Savers for nine dollars. I found Whitco sitting in a Goodwill in uh, Victorville for ten dollars. It's there. You just gotta know what to look for, and that's what I'm gonna teach you guys. And I'll show you all the since people are asking for the times. Let me show you the times again. Boom, boom, and uh, boom. Nope, that one. So there we go. Tomorrow with my mom, 11 a.m. on the West Coast, 2 p.m. on the East Coast. Monday morning for everyone also, 10 a.m. on the West Coast, 1 p.m. on the East Coast. Monday night just for the Secret Beach, 6.30 on the West Coast, 9.30 on the East Coast. And Thursday, our normal show, 9 p.m. on the East Coast, 6 p.m. on the West Coast. And that's it. That is our Saturday night haul. Oh man, we went an uh, hour and a half. Yeah, we had over two hundred. We were going strong. That was that was great. So uh, fun Saturday night. <laughs> yes. So thank you all for tuning in. I hope you learned uh, some new brands tonight, some new bolos tonight. Uh, hope it opened. Always, we hope it opens your mind to look at things outside your comfort zone. That is our big push for 2017 is to get everyone out of their comfort zone and make some more money. And that includes tiki. And guess what? If you find the right tiki thing that I need. Like you, like I just witnessed, I can just bite off you. Send you the, send you PayPal, friends, cash, easy peasy. So that's no reason to tune in. You never know where you're going to find the holy grail that I need. And on that, I will see you tomorrow with my mother. Yeah, have a good night, everybody. And if you if there's anything in the hall that you saw that you like, again, um, hit us up on Facebook, uh, message us, and we will um, definitely uh, cut you a good deal. So thank have you, everyone, for watching and spending your Saturday night with us. Yeah, have a great Saturday night. See yes. You. Good night. Bye-bye.